if you have a goal and mission in life, don't ever listen to the people who tell you you can't achieve them. Like Arnold Schwarzenegger once said, avoid the naysayers. Go after it. Go get what is yours. Go find out if you can achieve it. Go after what you want. Don't let the voices of other people stop you from getting what is yours. Hello everyone, my name is Ruben Cabrera and today I will be sharing with you what I have learned from watching the documentary A Coach's Book for Life, Episode 1, Doc Rivers. So as you may already know the subject, the thing that I learned, so as you may already know the subject or what I learned today from watching this episode is that you shouldn't allow the words of others to impact you in a way that you stop going after that which you want from life. I will be sharing with you the example from the movie from which I learned this lesson from. I will now be reading the dialogue from Doc Rivers. I will be quoting him. I have my notebook here. That year, the teacher asked each kid to write on the board what they wanted to be in life. And I wrote, I want to be a pro basketball player. She immediately grabbed the eraser and erased it from the board and told me to be realistic. Lower your goal. Put something else up on the board. And so I walked back up to the board and I wrote, okay, I want to be a pro basketball player. And she erased it again and said, we're gonna send you home. My dad walked me right back to school and my dad said, you're doing horrible in school. You don't listen, you don't pay attention. You're always goofing around, and the teacher's right. You're not going to be that. You're not going to be anything. But right before we walked in the door, he said, Hey, listen. It's a great goal. But he said, Whatever goal you have, and right now it's too early. But when you do finally settle for one, but when you do finally settle on one, just finish the race. And it was the greatest part because I walked back into class and the teacher told me to write, the, write on the board. And I wrote, I want to be a pro basketball player. All the kids started laughing. The teacher looked at my dad and my dad walks out. That was a good day. Here we have a child writing his goals what he wants to be in life and you have someone telling him that you're thinking too big be realistic whatever that means lower your standards lower your goals aim for something more something that you could actually reach so you have to stop what you're going for but as we as the example that I just shared with you he doesn't and if, for those who don't know, Doc Rivers eventually becomes a pro basketball player and then becomes a coach of many pro basketball teams. So he reached his goal in life. He did that which, he did that, he did what people told him he couldn't do. So what if he would have listened to those people and he would have given up on his dreams, on his goal? on his mission of life because he followed, he believed other people instead of believing in himself. So I tell you, I ask of you, if you have something you wanna go after, go after it, go after it, go get it. Don't let the voices of other people into your mind. Know what you want and find out if you can get it. Before you quit, try. I will repeat a phrase from the quote of, of Doc Rivers that, I, that really stuck with me and I felt powerful. And that is the quote from his dad. But he said, whatever goal you have, and right now it's too early, but when you do finally settle on one, just finish the race. Powerful, powerful. The most important factor of setting a goal, when you do finally settle on one, just make sure to finish the race.
If you found this video useful, helpful, share with someone that will benefit from watching this video or watch the documentary, watch the episode. If you're interested in improving yourself as a person and the people around you, I highly guarantee you will like this episode. Thank you for watching. All I ask of you is to share the story. Thank you.